Welcome to learn yourself. Try this sum, page number 169. First numerical is a shopkeeper bought a chair for rupees 375 and sold it for rupees 400. Find the gain percentage. We know one formula that is profit percentage equals to profit divided by cost price in multiplication with 100. Now let us see what all details we have here. So bought a chair for 375. So, so that is going to be its cost price. So here cost price that is original price is rupees 375. Now he is selling it. So the selling price is rupees 400. Now from this we can find out the profit. That profit we can find out via selling price minus cost price here selling price is more so we are taking it first and then minus cost price so 400 minus 375 so profit is rupees 25 now this is our profit in rupees in terms of number now profit percentage is our formula is profit percentage equals to profit divided by cp in multiplication with 100 so profit percentage we have to find out profit we know it is 25 cost price original price is 375 that is in multiplication with 100 now 25 15 is 375 so 100 divided by 15 so let us divide this that when we are dividing 100 with 15 we will get 15 6 za 90 so we will get here 10 so we are taking decimal point and we are taking one more zero so again 15 6 za 90 so again we will get 10 we are putting one more zero and we are taking 15 6 za 90 so this will continue like this so we can take 6.666 or we can just round it off the last digit so here i am going to write 6.66 and third digit i am rounding off to 7 so the profit percentage is 6.667 percentage this is our answer our second numerical cost of an item is rupees 50 so our cost price is rupees 50 it was sold with a profit of 12%. So we know the profit percentage and that is 12%. We have to find out selling price. So selling price we have to find out. Now we know the formula that profit percentage equals to profit divided by CP is in multiplication with 100. Profit percentage we know that is 12. Profit we do not know because selling price we do not know. Now CP is 50 is in multiplication with 100 so 12 is in multiplication with 50 50 we are taking the other side so it will go to numerator so p and this 100 is in numerator it will go to denominator when we are changing the side so it will go to denominator now once we will solve this we'll get 50 to the 100 and 2 6 za 12 so our profit here is 6 rupees 6 rupees is our profit. What we have to find out here is selling price. So selling price is cost price plus profit. The cost price is 50 and our profit is 6. So selling price is going to be 56 rupees. So SP is 56 rupees. The third numerical. An article was sold for rupees 250. So the selling price here is rupees 250. Then with a profit of 5%. So profit percentage here is 5%. What was its cost price? So here we have to find out cost price. So we do not know cost price. We do not know profit also. So here we are going to assume cost price equals to X. And profit we are going to write as selling price minus cost price so our formula is profit percentage equals to profit divided by cp into 100 so profit percentage we know it is 5 percent so we are inserting that value then profit in terms of profit we are going to write sp minus cp divided by cp 
with multiplication of 100. Now CP equals to we are taking X because we have guessed that CP equals to X. So 5% equals to SP minus X divided by X. We have written here X at the place of CP is in multiplication with 100. We know that what is SP? Our SP is 250. So 250 minus X is in multiplication with 100 divided by X. Now this X we are taking to other side and at the place of X we are taking 5. We will get here 250 minus X is in multiplication with 100. In division 5 will be there. So 25 is 100. So we will get here X equals to 250 in multiplication with 20 minus X in multiplication with 20. As we are multiplying this 20 with this 2. So we got this here. Now X equals to we will get 5000 as we are multiplying this 2 minus 20X. This 20X we are taking towards other side. So this is minus it will become plus. So X plus 20X equals to 5000. So we will get here 21X equals to 5000. So X equals to we will get 5000 divided by 21. Now let us divide 5000 with 21. So we will get 5000 divided by 21. So first we are taking 2. 21 2s are we will get 42. So 42 when we will subtract we will get 8. This 2 0 we are taking it down. So it is 80. Then 21 3s are 68. So we will get here 70. Another 0 we are taking it down. So it will become 170. Then we are taking 21 8 is 168. So we will get here 2. And we are taking here decimal point and we are putting here 1 0. But it is smaller than 21. So we are taking one more 0 here and we are putting here 0. So we will get here 9. 21 9 is we will get 189. As we got two digit after decimal point. So this is going to be our answer that x equals to 238.09. And what is this? This is our cost price. So our cost price is 238.09. Our fourth numerical. An item was sold for rupees 540. So selling price is rupees 540 at a loss of 5%. So here loss is 5% and loss percentage is 5. What was its cost price? So we have to find out its cost price. We do not know the cost price. We know the formula that it is loss percentage equals to loss divided by cost price into 100. Now we do not know cost price. We do not know loss. So here again we are guessing cost price equals to X and for the loss we are going to write cost price minus selling price. So let us reframe this formula. Loss percentage we know. So we are going to write 5 here. Loss equals to we are going to write CP minus SP divided by CP in multiplication with 100. Now CP we have already guessed equals to X. We have assumed that. So let us put X at the place of CP. X minus SP divided by again X in multiplication with 100. So 5X equals to X minus SP in multiplication with 100. So 5X equals to X minus SP we know that is 500 and 40 in multiplication with 100. So x equals to we are taking x minus 540 in multiplication 100 in divided by 5. So 5 20 is a 100. So we got here x equals to x minus 540 in multiplication with 20. So this 20 we are multiplying with both of this. So we will get x equals to 20x 
minus 540 is in multiplication with 20. This 20 we are taking towards other side. So x minus 20x equals to minus we will get 10,800. Once we will multiply this two, we will get this answer. Now x minus 20x, we will get minus 19x equals to minus 10,800. Both of this term are minus. So we are removing minus from both of this side. So we will get x equals to 10,800 and 19 we are taking into its denominator. Now let's divide 10,800 with 19. So 10,800 is in division with 19. So first 19 fives are. We are taking three numbers first. So we will get 95 here. So once we will subtract 95, we will get 13. This zero, we are taking it down. So 130. 19 six are. We will get 114. We will get as an answer 60. Again, another 0, we are taking it down. So it will be 160. We are taking 19, 8 is a 152. So we will get here 8. We are taking decimal point and we are putting it here 0. So 19, 4 is a we will get here 76. So 80 minus 76, we will get 4. Again, we can put 0 here and we can divide with 19, 2 is a 38. We can leave it over here as we got 2 digit after decimal point. So our answer x equals to is 568.42. So our cost price is 568.42. That is our answer. So thank you for watching and learning with us. If you have any doubt, please comment down below. I'll see you in next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing. And don't forget to subscribe, learn yourself.